Hello Aries, welcome in. This is Victoria at Radiant Moon Tarot and we're here doing your weekly reading for June 14th through 20th, 2021. If you're new to my channel, welcome in and if you're returning, welcome back and I'm truly grateful for all of your likes, shares, subscribes and your fabulous energy. So just a reminder, this is a general reading so not every message that comes out will be for you all. Just take the parts that resonate with your situation and leave the rest behind. Sometimes it'll be a little snippet here and there and sometimes it'll be the whole dang thing. All right, so let's see where we go for you for the week ahead. Messages, please, for Aries. What does Aries need to know for the week ahead, please? Thank you. So we have observer. All right, that's an energy essentially of standing back, um, observing things, uh, looking at things from a different perspective, getting a little bit of distance from something. So let's just pull out your energy. Messages, please, for Aries. And we're, whoa, okay. And we're going to take that one, Angel of Balance. Okay, I like the Angel of Balance. Very Libran energy. But let's start with Observer. So this is all about taking a little step back, looking at things from a different, uh, from a different perspective, um, looking at things with a little bit of neutrality and not being attached to an outcome. And if you see this, I'm not sure if that's a fox or a coyote, but either way, sitting on this egg, okay? So there may be something new that you're thinking of starting, something new that you've been, you might be percolating on something for a while. It could be an idea, a thought, all right? It could be something that you want to um, manifest, okay? Whatever that means for you. This is a time of uh, potential growth, new opportunities, and uh, new beginnings in some cases or improvement, improvement on your current circumstance, leveling up. But it does require you to, first off, be a little bit neutral, okay, about your, uh, about your desire, uh, not really about your desired outcome, be a little bit neutral, um, and a little bit, um, release a little bit of control over the finer details sometimes, right? Especially if you're doing manifestation, it's like, yes, this is what I want. And I do all my manifestation work and I won't turn this into a manifestation reading, okay, but um, but sometimes you need to just step back and you don't want to micromanage the universe. How things kind of come about um, isn't necessarily, um, you know, in your control, okay, energetically the universe will present things to you as the form of opportunities. Um, a person may come across your path that opens doors for you. So sometimes we do need to kind of take a little bit of a step back and just let the universe do its thing, okay? We know what we want. So, do, so does the universe and we just need to let it do its thing, okay? But there could also be something that you're working on that you might have been pounding your pounding your head against a brick wall and you just might not be able to try as you might. You might not be able to finish something. You can't find a solution to something and sometimes that answer is to take a step back, all right, to, um, you know, detach from your preconceived notions about how something should unfold or what something should look like and quite often that is when we get a little bit of an epiphany. Um, because it, it's typically a reminder with this card of you can't see the forest through the trees. And sometimes you need to look at things a little bit differently. But we've got the angel of balance coming in here as well. <clears throat> and this is a time to restore some balance into your life. If you feel felt as though things are spiraling a little bit out of control, you may have been spending too much time at work, not enough time at home or vice versa. All right, balance is coming in here. So this is really a time of a little bit, um, a little bit more peace, okay, and really putting things, um, kind of tilting the scales back into, um, you know, into a more balanced uh, energy for you there. Okay, so um, first, of, first and foremost, the angel of balance is coming in here to help you. Okay, but this is also an invitation for you to have a look at areas in your life that may have thrown you off balance, thrown you off kilter a little bit, and, uh, you know, to kind of give you a little bit of inspiration, uh, a little bit of a reminder that you may need to make some sort of change for you, okay, for, for um, you know, to kind of restore your energy a little bit, right, especially if you've been putting in too many hours at work, that's usually the most common one, 
And yes, sometimes it's out of necessity, but you may be, uh, if this is work for you, all right, if you step back on something and you look at something a little bit differently, you may find your solution and that may actually also free up your time and in turn bring a little bit more harmony into your life, right? So um, you might not have to uh, work as hard necessarily, right? <clears throat> And so let's pull your tarot and see what we've got here for you. Messages for Aries, please. Thank you. So let's see. Current situation, uh, the Two of Swords. Mm -hmm. Crossing you, we've got the Page of Coins. Beneath you, we've got the Page of Wands. Advice from Spirit, Six of Coins. Some of you may actually have Libra in your chart, by the way, but that six of coins, because they had the same advice from spirit. Okay. All about balance. And, uh, when the angel of balance came out, of course, it does remind me of Libra that doesn't actually have an astrological association. Okay. But, uh, so you might want to check out the, uh, Libra reading as well above you. We've got the world. Yeah. Look at this. You are ready for something new, right? You're right on the edge. You're right on the cusp there. Beautiful. And we've got the star that's coming out at the end there for you. So two of swords, man, there's a difficult decision that you're trying to make. You might be feeling a little bit perplexed and, or, you know, at least a little bit indecisive. Again, there's something that you're facing um, and you, you just need to figure things out, but you're like, God, I can't find the answer. I don't know what to do. And when we get the two of swords, this is first and foremost, the answer that you need, number one, maybe looking at things from a different perspective, all right, trying not to control all of the micro, the micro details there, okay, but have a little bit of a step back, trust your intuition, go within, what does your gut tell you, what does your feelings tell you, right, and, you know, sometimes we can find those answers, and, but we do need to quiet our mind, right? You might be overthinking something and uh, really not being able to find your way forward, right? And it's kind of throwing your energy off kilter there a little bit. But when we get that two of swords, this is a reminder to trust our intuition here. And it can sometimes be hard to do when you're stuck in, uh, you're stuck kind of a little bit between two worlds here at the moment, okay? Because you're right on the cusp you're right at the end of a cycle and you're ready to start something new. But again, they're just you might just have quite the little conundrum there. You might just be really trying to figure things out. And sometimes when we get in that energy, um, it's a little bit of um, uh, we can end up paralyzing ourselves a little bit. Right. And, you know, it's like, um, you know, put down those swords. Your mind is uh, very powerful. Yes. But sometimes we need to quiet our mind go within, back up a little bit, all right, and that's when those answers will come, okay? So um, you may also have two opportunities here that you are thinking of. If you're thinking of a job change, because we do have the page of coins coming out here as well, okay, you may be thinking of a career change, um, making some improvements in that area of your life. You could be thinking of moving your house, right? You could be thinking of, uh, you know, a new investment opportunity, something along those lines, right? So you may have one very important choice that you're, that you're working on, right? Or you may have a couple of different options that you may be, um, you know, you might not be sure what to take or what to do, right? Especially if you're looking for a new job or a new career, um, you know, sometimes that can be, uh, it's a little bit scary, because we're like right on the edge, right? And it's like, I don't know, do I keep doing what I'm doing? This is what I've been doing for years. I have a lot of experience. I have a lot of knowledge and, you know, and, it, you know, but it, you, your heart might not be in it anymore. And then there might be a new path for you, but maybe it doesn't pay as much to start off with. And that can be a little bit scary. So, um, you know, so there's just kind of a little bit of a, a little bit of a topsy turvy energy that's there. Hence the angel of balance there. What's crossing you? We've got the page of coins. So now this is uh, this is pretty similar to this being in reverse. Okay, it's um, I kind of 
it's like halfway between reverse and just a challenge. So, you know, for some of you, this has to do with your career path, right? Finding a new job, going for a new opportunity, um, leveling up in your current situation, okay, or starting something completely new. And there's a lot of indecision here because normally the page of coins is one filled with energy and excitement and vigor and moving forward and, um, you know, really trusting that, uh, you know, that they'll make the right choice and that they're on the right path. Path. And, you know, it's usually where we see the first signs of prosperity. So there may just be, again, a little bit of indecision, okay, um, you know, or you're really doing some thinking and you might be waiting for some messages, waiting for some good news to come in. Okay, you may even have some bad news coming in, right? And, you know, that might just actually start you on a different trajectory, and don't forget, whatever door closes for you, another one actually opens. You just have to be open and receptive to it. So there may be just be something here with this two of swords. Okay, this page of coins can represent an answer, an opportunity, something coming in. Okay, it can come from another person or it could just be like, you know, you might just have like a flash of inspiration that's, you know, that gets you over that hurdle. But sometimes we are blocking the new opportunity here or the answer. We're blocking it. We're blocking those messages messages because we're a little bit too wrapped up in the problem and trying to figure that out. So this really is an invitation to open up. So whether it's something new, it could just be a delay, right? You might be waiting for some news and it just might be delayed a little bit. It could be that, um, you know, maybe someone is out of town because we do have the world there. So uh, if you're looking for, you know, you may have had an interview and you're waiting for that call back, you know, you might be, uh, you know, um, waiting for a promotion to come in. But again, maybe your boss is traveling because with that world energy, it can be one of travel and it doesn't necessarily have to be you that's traveling because that is in your crowning position. So you could just be thinking about that. Like, what is this person going to come back and make a decision already? Right. And I'm going to get itchy feet a little bit, right? You're raring to go. So, uh, so a few different, uh, different messages that are there with that page of coins. But again, I'll go right back to that observer. You're sitting on something, you're percolating a little bit, or you're waiting for some new opportunity to hatch, to come in for you. Something is coming to completion and you're ready to move forward. But we have beneath you, the page of wands talk about ready to move forward. You're full of inspiration. You're full of great ideas. This is where we see your energy really start to kick up a notch. And, um, you know, it's also a little bit of a reminder sometimes with the page of wands that sometimes slow and steady wins the race. And you can see that we've got these bunny rabbits here, right? And you've heard of the story of the tortoise and the hare and, uh, you know, the, the hare, the rabbit, um, is all about your own running forward. And, uh, you know, he gets so far ahead of the game that he decides to have a nap under a tree. And in the meantime, the slow and steady tortoise do 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 comes along and actually overtakes him, overtakes the rabbit who got a little bit too uh too excited, okay? Um and a little bit too, a little bit too confident and the tortoise bypassed him because he was sleeping under a tree because he thought it was so far ahead. Anyways, and won the race, okay? So sometimes when we do get this, this is, you know, a reminder that sometimes slow and steady wins the race. Be ready to take action and be ready to move forward, but also, you know, um, make sure that you are on the right path. Make sure that you are taking the correct steps that are good for you and good for your long-term prosperity, all right, and for your long-term goals and solutions, right? So, but no matter what your situation, you are waiting, you are waiting and you're ready to go on some new adventures. You may have a goal in mind, okay, or you're starting something brand new. Those pages, again, they bring in news, but it's also about the new, okay? And, you know, so for some of you, this really is about your career prospects, okay? And you could even be moving as well. All right, but uh, you know, there's a little bit of impatient energy coming out here with this page of wands. Okay, so um, you know, so just make sure that you're, you know, making the good choices, following your intuition, following your heart. Okay, and then get ready to take action to make your dreams come true and to uh, seize the day, seize opportunities um, that come your way. All right. Advice from spirit, the six of coins. Now this is the law of giving and receiving. It's also one of balance. So first and foremost, spirit wants to remind you that whatever you, whatever you put out, you get back. 
So, you know, if you're, if you're doubting yourself, doubting your decisions and, you know, kind of, uh, you know, um, really stuck in an indecisive energy, right? Spirit wants to remind you, go for the gold, go for your gusto. What is it you want? Follow your intuitions, remain positive, keep your vibration high because there is help on the way for you. There's opportunities coming in for you. All right. But you do need to, uh, keep your energy, um, focused and optimistic. Okay. Rather than getting frustrated or, you know, impatient. All right. Um, now when we get the six of coins, this is sometimes an energy of, uh, help coming in from unexpected resources. There may be a financial opportunity. It could come in the form of a loan. It could come in the form of a promotion. Um, it could just be some unexpected, um, money. And even if it's just a relief on a bill, and, you know, uh, your car insurance, you, maybe you get a rebate or something, maybe you overpaid something and now you might have something coming back. And even if it's only 20 bucks or a hundred bucks or something, it could really be, um, you know, just the difference between making it to payday or not. Okay. So there may be some, uh, some help coming in there, something that's a little bit of a surprise. All right. But this is, um, you know, this is that reminder there. There are resources there for you. Sometimes they come in as a surprise. Sometimes you've got to go out and get them. All right. But it's also a reminder here of um, giving back. So if you're in a situation where you have something where you have more than you need, restore that balance, right? That six of coins, the angel of balance, restore the balance in the universe. Um, you may actually have employees with the page of coins, um, with the page of coins, the world, the star, page of wands, you may have some business idea that you're thinking of getting off the ground and maybe finances are what's holding you back. And you might actually need to reach out and ask somebody for a little bit of help. All right. Reach out and ask somebody if that's the case, if you know someone there, because their you, your answer could very well just be a yes. And that might surprise you a little bit. So that could come in the form of, um, you know, a bank loan. Um, you know, you might be formulating a business plan. Okay. It could come from a family member, someone who is willing to invest in you because they believe in your vision. They believe in your goal as well. So you may need to put it yourself out there a little bit because sometimes you may be surprised at what comes back. Sometimes it might be money that comes back. Okay. It allows you to get your, um, your idea off the ground, your venture off the ground, but it may also come in the form of wisdom and knowledge. So there might be someone around there that can uh, give you a little bit of help, right? Whether it's money or knowledge or wisdom. Okay. So don't be afraid to ask. All right. And that kind of puts you back on track. And with the world energy crowning you, yeah, whatever your situation is, you've gone as far as you can go in your current situation. You've learned all the lessons that you needed to learn. It's an energy of victory, of success, but it's also the energy of moving forward, right? You're right there. You're right on the cusp. You're right about to start something new. And of course, with those two pages, we do see new that's out here. Okay. So again, some of you, it's two opportunities and you know, for others, it's one rolled into one. Okay. So one, one opportunity may pay more than the other, and they actually also might be two different ones. Again, uh, some of you might be considering changing a career and the page of coins that's crossing you may actually be the one you're in now, which is kind of stopped in its tracks. It's stagnant. There's no more room for growth. And the page of wands is you getting out there and starting something, um, moving forward on something completely new, completely different, right? So, um, but with the world here, yeah, you're ready for some change. You're ready to move forward, break free out of anything that is keeping you stagnant or stuck, right? And again, it's, it is an energy of success and victory, all right, and you're ready to move forward. What What is beyond this um, this door for you? What is beyond this portal? What is in that egg, in that observer, okay? So something a little bit different for everybody, but that is, uh, you know, this is you wanting to move forward. And I love this, okay, because your outcome energy here, we've got the star. And the star is Aquarian energy, but this is one of faith, trust. This is your make-a-wish card, all right? Sometimes your yes card as well, okay? This is the time to make your dreams come true. What are you wishing for? Wish upon that star. Set your intentions and then follow your dreams, follow your goals. This is an energy of optimism, faith, 
trust, maintaining hope. It's also one of balance and healing a little bit as well. And it's a really beautiful, inspiring energy. What inspires you, right? This page of wands, what is your inspiration? What are you passionate about? What do you want to put into fruition, right? Because for some, this page of coins energy may be where you're at right now or the path that you've been on and it's boring and it's dull and there's no more room for growth and you just don't want to do it anymore and you're looking for something inspiring, something that, you know, really lights that fire in your belly. Now is the time with when the star energy comes out. Now is the time to make all of your goals and dreams come true. All right. So go within, look at things from a different perspective. Okay. And uh, get ready to take some action. Make sure you set your intentions. All right. And then take action on making those your reality. Okay. Because you have what it takes when we have this star energy, right? It is an energy of success. Okay. Big old yes from the universe. The stars really are aligned for you right now to make all of your dreams a reality. Okay. And is it up to you to take the opportunity and to move forward with that page of wands? Yes, indeed it is. All right. But the opportunity is all around you. So you just might need to get your thoughts in alignment. Okay. With, um, with your, you know, get your head, heart, body, mind, soul, everything in alignment and make a decision on where you want to go. What is your dream? What is your wish? Okay. If you had, if you had a genie in front of you with a lamp, what would you wish for? All right. What would you wish? And don't ask for three more wishes. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> okay. So let's see, let's close out your reading here. I'm going to leave that there because it's absolutely beautiful, right? The stars are totally aligned for you right now. The universe is listening. Keep your thoughts positive. So let's just get a couple last words of advice from the angels here. Last words of advice, please, for Aries for the week ahead. What do we need to know for the week ahead, please? All right. And we have, it's up to you. Yes, it is. This means... Um, exactly what we were just saying. The world is your oyster. Opportunities are, are, are all around you. All right. But it's up to you to take action when they do actually present themselves to you. It's for up to you to put yourself out there. It's up to you to ask. All right. Make a decision. This is a very empowering energy. All right. And a reminder from those angels that, yeah, you can have it all. What are you wishing for? Get ready to take action. Get an alignment here. Make sure you know what you want and then go for it. Go for the gold. All right. And then we also have take action. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we also have take action. All right. Um, exactly what we were just saying. Okay. It's up to you and take action. The time is now. Okay. This is what it is. The time is now. You can achieve all of your goals, your dreams, your desires. Okay. So get ready to take action and move forward forward. Okay. Beautiful energy, really beautiful energy. Okay. So I'm going to leave that there Aries, but I really hope there was something in here that resonated with you, whether it was a little bit or the whole thing. If so, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fabulous week ahead of you and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.